I just said to Paul, it's a bit surreal in it being in someone's office doing a mm. press conference. Yeah. But what's it been like the last few weeks? I know you've had games to play. How was that when you knew that this was on the horizon? Yeah, I suppose obviously there's no getting away from it. We knew obviously after the last round the magnitude of, of the game, FA Cup quarter final on the horizon. But um, yeah, we had we had business to take care of in the league first, and we had spoke about that as a group, just you know to try and get a few wins and a bit of confidence, momentum to bring into this game. And now those games are out of the way, we can really start looking forward to Sunday. You've had a couple of days off, Paul says. So are you focused now? Do you know what you need to do on Sunday? Yeah, everyone's focused, everyone's looking forward to it. Obviously, um, look, we're under no illusion. It's going to be a tough ass. They're flying high in the Premier League. So, um, yeah, look, we're, we're just going to go and, and give it everything and embrace the occasion. I think that's that, that's obviously key as well to to not let these occasions pass you by because, you know, they don't come around that often. You certainly embraced the occasion at Southampton, didn't you? What was that like for you personally? Yeah, look, a magical night. Obviously, one you, you dream of as a kid. Um, you know, it's a, it's a long career with... I know plenty of lows in there, obviously as well. So it just makes all those, you know, those negative moments and those lows worth it when you know you, you get a special night like that. And you know, to share it with a great group that we've we've got as well just made, made it extra special. Was it the best night of your career? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, obviously the the, the playoff finals are uh, were massive, obviously. But in terms of magnitude of you know a cup competition, a FA Cup, it's most prestigious cup competition in the world. So um, yeah, to ha have a night like that with. You know the travelling fan base that we had, nearly four and a half thousand on a Wednesday night. It was, um, yeah, it was special to be able to share that with them as well because they they deserved it just as much as us. I imagine those images you've been watching those over the past couple of weeks, where you down your knees then celebrating with the fans. Yeah. yeah look, it's uh, yes, it's something that you you, you have have forever. Obviously, um, videos you can look back on. Obviously, when you retire and uh, look back on fondly and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, they're great to have, and you know, hopefully, uh, come Sunday we'll have we'll have a few more of them. Paul said that he showed you videos of Brighton. He said it should come with an 18 certificate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what did you think when you were watching that? Um, yeah, look, obviously everyone was just kind of laughing at that uh, when he's come out with that statement. He's uh, he comes out with some some crackers, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, we've obviously watched them. Look, we know how how. Uh, how good they are, the caliber of player that they have. They've got World Cup winners in, in their team. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be another step up from from Southampton. Um, so yeah, we're probably we're going to need to play uh, another level up from from them and um, hopefully have a, you know, another a bit of luck on our side as well. So um, no, it'll be a tough ask, but you know one that we're just going to have to embrace. I'm sure you probably agree that the fans maybe helped you at Southampton. Mm. How important are they going to be at Brighton? Again, yeah, they're going to be massive. Um, you know, it almost felt like a home game at, at the Southampton game. Um, you know, it was you know pretty special occasion, special atmosphere that they, they created. The Harry the Haddocks everywhere, just looking up and seeing all the inflatable fish was a pretty surreal sight. Um, so yeah, they're going to be massive for us, and um, you know, you know, we'll be we'll be giving it everything for them. Good luck. Thanks, Matt. Uh, happy St Patrick's Day. I'm guessing there's not much Guinness on the, uh, on the menu tonight. Unfortunately not, no. Unfortunately not. Um, hopefully come Sunday, obviously, if we uh, pull off a massive shock, I'll have, uh, yeah, I'll have uh, a cake full. Yeah. <laughs> um, going back to the time, I mean, what, what was going through your mind when you, were, when you, were, when you stepped up? Uh, you know, the gravity of, of what you were about to do, I guess you didn't really think about at the time? No, yeah, look, obviously, the, the, uh, you know the, the the magnitude of of the kick. It's obviously a pressure situation, but no, just try and just just try and calm down and just take a breath and um, you know just just practice or, or just just do what you've practiced, um, you know, in training and stuff like that, and and just just be decisive in in, in where you're going and, and stick to it. Have you been practicing uh, since then? Uh, no, not really. To be fair, um, not really. But yeah, I might have a have a couple. Uh, Couple of penalties, uh, kicks, so I, I can practice in training. Yeah. As a player, you know, are these the day, days you kind of dream of? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, um, unfortunately, we haven't, you know, as League Two footballers, we haven't reached the the heights of Premier League football. So these are the occasions, obviously, that you, you, you dreamt of as a, as a kid, and they don't come around often. So you just really have to just just embrace them and enjoy the occasion. Uh, you've we've seen everything on social media as well. Everyone, you know, you, everyone's getting tagged in it all. You know, the Harry mm. Haddocks, the fans, and the scent, the buzz about it. Mm. What, um, what, what does that mean to you when you see that and the, 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 
pride in the area at the moment. Yeah, it's huge. It's it, you see how much it means to the community of of Grimsby. Um, you know, working class community. These people like you know the the graft all week to to come and watch their team uh, on a weekend and for us to be able to give them special days like like it will be on Sunday. Um, you know, it means a lot to us as as players and as a group. And um, you know, we know that they'll be they'll be uh, right behind us. And what and what leads to the difference that it makes to you guys? I mean, we know it's a it's a big ask against Brighton, mm. but do they have a role to play? Oh yeah, huge. Yeah, it's it's like I said, they, they had a massive role in, in the Southampton game. Um, you know, almost felt like a home game with the yeah the, the amount of of, of uh, fans that were there that that night. Um, so the, yeah, they have a massive importance. Obviously, um, you know, especially if you know if we're under the cost, under a bit of pressure. Which look, we're, we're, we're under no illusions. We're going to be under plenty of that on on Sunday. Um, so yeah, we'll need them to to drive us on and, and to help us dig in. And. Just, just some of this, you know, the, the, the spirit among the camp. You know, I mean, you, I guess you guys talk about it as players, and you know, what, what's, what's been the sort of the, after the game the other night? Was it then focus switch into this game? What have you been kind of saying to each other? Yeah, it's um, look. Yeah, I suppose you're going from uh, two polar opposite games. Uh, you know, Sutton away. It's it's not a pleasant place to go and play, and you know, the football wasn't that uh, wasn't that attractive. So yeah, it's just uh, you're going from one one extreme to the other, and um, yeah, it's going to be a like massive occasion, and, and you know we knew that obviously after getting the getting the job done on Tuesday night that we could look forward to the game and look forward to the build up of the game. Hopefully we'll see you sliding on your knees again. Thanks very much. Hopefully. Hello, mate. Before the the Southampton side, what was the belief like in the squad, and, and has that belief now grown again even heading into this? Um, yeah. Look. Again, we knew going to a, going away to a Premier League team was was a huge ask. Um, I think everyone was kind of writing us off and not giving us a giving us a chance, obviously. But me personally, I, you know, I, I've, I've always had belief in this group. You know, we've we've got history of pulling off upsets and and you know big big shocks um, that we have done in the past. So yeah, I, I had a kind of sneaky feeling going into the game that we could we could do that. So um, yeah, the Southampton result gives us massive confidence, obviously. But again. One of no illusions. It's it's another step up. They're, you know they're a top class team, a flying eye in the Premier League. So um, yeah, we're going to need a lot of things to align for for us to, to cause another upset. And I asked Paul earlier, what is it about this team that makes them or brings out the best of them in the, the knockout ties? Um, I don't know. To be honest, um, it's just yeah, it's just the way it's worked. Obviously, we've 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 pulled off upsets. You know, in every round, of beating teams. You know, above our above our level. So. Um, no, I think we've just got we've just got a good group. Um, you know, everyone's everyone fights for each other and um, gives everything for for each other. Even you know the ones that aren't playing are are, are contributing massively. And um, you know, as a group, everyone's pushing in the, the same direction. So I think that helps massively. Good luck. Cheers, Matt. Thank you. Hi, Gavin. So obviously you sealed the win in the last game, and Paul said that you watched back some of the footage mm. recently. Is anything really jumped out to you that you could probably do again? Sort of skills that you did as well in the previous game that you feel you can bring to the team. Um, I don't know. To be honest, uh, hopefully, I don't know. Danilo might might go down again and, and get us another penalty, uh, make a meal out of it again. Uh, we might need him to do that again. And um, yeah, it's just, just look. There's obviously positives that, that we can take from the Southampton game. You know, I thought you know, first 15, 20 minutes or so, I think we all thought we were in a bit of trouble um, the way they started, but we managed to grow into the game and. Um, like a sort ourselves on the game, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be looking to take some of the positives from that into the game uh, on Sunday. Fingers crossed for more penalties. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. We are just booming, guys. Okay. Uh, so I think when Jack comes back downstairs, you're on the side.